What's going on guys, Mr. C Hines 91. Today I uh wanted to bring a video um to tell you I guess like a little tutorial on how to fix a problem that's happened to me for probably about a few months now. Playing uh, Battlefield 4, I just figured out how to fix it. Um, I've tried multiple ways, but what the problem is, is you've probably seen it, it's the DirectX error uh, that comes up while you're playing Battlefield 4. Um, this is what it looks like. This little window pops up. Um, this is just the image off of Google. Um, this ain't the actual error for me. Um, but it looks like this, it says DirectX function device, blah blah blah, it has your uh, GPU down here. Um, this isn't mine, of course. Um, so this is what pops up. Um, you usually have to go to Task Manager and, uh, you know, close it out from there. Because um, it sort of freezes up your computer sometimes, or at least it does for me. Um, sometimes I have to restart my computer because it gives me a black screen. Um... So yeah, so this, we're fixing this. Um, finally, yeah, there's multiple ways that I've searched and done research. I uh, went to DICE um, when I first started. Didn't know what to happen. Um, didn't know if it was my GPU driver or something that needed to be updated. But I figured out the problem. Um, I'm not actually sure what it is. It is something with DirectX, because it is DirectX error. Um, but this, the way I'm about to show you is the only way that I could... Uh, figure it out uh, through multiple researches and did sort of tweaking a few things that I found that worked for other people that didn't work for me but I tweaked it and it worked this way worked for me so hopefully it works for you if it does not I know some other um, ways that you can try and fix it um, so if you want to know those definitely let me know and I can show you those um, so let's get on to what helped me fix the problem. Alright, so first you want to do is go to your files and anywhere you know where your origins game folder is um, so you can either type in origins up here or you can go to which mine is in my C folder um, my program 86 files uh, so I'm going to go there and then I'm going to go down to origin files or origin games. I'm sorry. So anywhere where this folder is, um, that's where you need to get. So origin games, click on it. Of course, this is Battlefield 4. This is also I know it happens to people in uh, Titanfall. So I, I'm, I believe it's the same process as Battlefield 4. If it is on Titanfall, so um, so we're going to do Battlefield 4. Click on Battlefield 4, it's going to bring up all these. We're going to go to the top, Installer. Then we're going to go down to DirectX, because that's where your DirectX is installed for your Battlefield 4. And you got these two folders right here. We're going to hit Redist. And then it's going to pop up all these WinRAR archive folders, or whatever you want to call them. Um, and all of these. So we're going to want to delete every single one of these. But there is three folders that we do not want to delete. Um, so basically, uh, you can click outside here, drag a little blue window, and it's going to highlight anything you click on. So you can just go up to the top of the page and it'll scroll up for you. Um, so we're going to go about halfway down, and there's going to be these three folders right here DirectX setup. D setup 32 and D setup. So we're going to deselect those. So all you got to do is hold control, click, click, and click. It's going to deselect those. And all you got to do now is just hit delete on your keyboard or um, right click and delete. So are you sure you want to move? Yes. All right. So that is basically it. Um, the only thing else we got to do, what I did myself and it worked. Um, before I deleted those and it didn't do anything for me, it didn't fix the problem. But um, I deleted those again. Uh, basically, did everything. So after we delete those, we're gonna go to DirectX setup. This is where you um, actually install DirectX. So yes, run install blah blah blah. So it's basically gonna search for updates. 
um, on your DirectX, it's not going to reinstall those folders or anything. So just to make sure everything's fine with your DirectX, install that. Installation complete. Um, so we're going to click finish, and you're all done. That is it. That should fix the problem. Um, at one time before, when I was trying to figure out this, I did try to install DirectX. Um, but I had all those folders in, and when I installed it, the install said uh, something was wrong inside a folder with DirectX, couldn't install completely. So, I don't know if it's something to do with any of those folders. I really don't know what those are. I'm not too in depth of, you know, knowledge of what all that stuff is. Um, this is the only way that figured out, uh, that fixed my battlefield from not crashing. And it was, I know it's really freaking frustrating. Um, so basically that is all you have to do. Um, then once you're done, you can exit out. Uh, I'm going to move this down so I can exit that. Um, and if you do want to, um, be sure that your files are all fine and stuff, which they should be. You can go to your origin, right-click on Battlefield 4, and repair game. I tried both ways. Um, I didn't see, you know, I, I tried it without repairing. It still worked. I tried it with repairing. It still worked. So it's whatever you want to do. Um, so yeah, guys, that is basically it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me. I um, just wanted to bring that short video because it's been a nuisance playing Battlefield 4 for at least two or three months now. Um, I've really got back into Battlefield 4 and that problems came up. It only usually would happen about the first game, usually 15-20 minutes in. Then I'd join another game and it wouldn't happen. And once that game was over the third game, it would happen to me again and it would crash. And it's just really frustrating. Especially when you're doing real good and you crash and you don't get in your... Uh, accommodations or anything that you did during that match um, so once again guys thank you for watching um, so please subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more I got videos I try to post up usually um, so just check it out if you like them please subscribe comment on anything you want to know I'll try and answer it to my best of knowledge and I will see you guys in the next one